Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in the Millbrook Minute. First up, we have Mr. Cabello from the middle school. Thanks, Mr. Hernandez. It's incredible to think we are at our end of the year celebrations, but here we are. Uh, this week, we capped off two huge and incredible end of the year celebrations with our awards ceremony. Thank you so much to so many parents, board members, and folks that came out to see all of our wonderful awards for our students. It was capped off with an incredibly emotional award uh, given to our community service award in memory of Mr. Albert Tompkins, who's done absolutely so much for our Millbrook community. We also had our principal's pizza party with all our students who have achieved the highest honors in grades throughout the entire school year. So a big, big, big celebratory high five to all of those students who work so hard throughout the year. Looking towards next week, uh, parents, let's uh, get those youngsters to bed early on Sunday because we will be finalizing uh, with our summative assessments on both Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, our students in grade six and seven will be taking their summative assessment in science. And in eighth grade, they will be taking their world language summative assessment. On Tuesday, all students will be taking their summative assessments in class for social studies. On Tuesday night, for all eighth grade students transitioning up to the high school, Mr. Sipe will be welcoming all families and students to the high school for an informational meeting about their transition to Millbrook High School at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. With news from all the place, here's Mr. Lipka. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cabello. Uh, second graders visited Alden Place for their orientation last Tuesday. They seemed super excited with our activities, and we thank our second and third grade teaching staff and our third grade students for their support. Our spring, and, spring band and chorus concert went very well this past Wednesday. The crowd turnout was amazing, and I'm impressed with the student participation. We had 89 band members and 88 chorus members in both grades. Next Tuesday, we celebrate the Alden Place fifth grade awards and moving up at 10 a.m. In the, in, the, in the middle school auditorium. Third grade, third and fourth graders will enjoy walking field trips to Tribute Gardens during the week and have a super Father's Day weekend next to Mrs. O'Connell at Elm Drive. Thank you, Mr. Lipka. This week in Elm Drive, all of our students took an age-appropriate emotional regulation post-assessment. Our ruler team reviewed the data collected from that at the beginning of the year, and I'm very proud of the progress our students have made in better understanding their feelings and recognizing those of others. Um, thank you, Mr. Lipka, for an amazing experience. Our, our second graders came back raving about their time at Alden Place. And next week, Elm has a spirit week with Tie-Dye Day Monday, Disney Day Tuesday, Superhero Day Thursday, and Wild West Day Friday. Next Monday, our first graders will be on their way to the town of Washington Park for a day fun-filled with the two-by-two two zoo. Tuesday, our second graders will enjoy a day of celebration with a pizza party, a visit from the Frozen Caboose ice cream truck, and a performance by Marco the Magician. And Friday, we end the week with our kindergartners taking their trip to the Trevor Zoo. Have a great weekend, and now on to Ms. Chanowski with news from Pupil Personnel Services. Thank you so much, Mrs. O'Connell. Uh, we've been busy here in the PPS office um, the last few weeks as we just wrap up the end of the school year, finishing out any CSE uh, meetings we have been having. Um, I just wanted to say it has been so nice participating in all of the end of the year award ceremonies and events across all of our schools. It always is so amazing to see the accomplishments of all of our students. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend and happy Father's Day. Now on to Dr. Watkins in curriculum and instruction. Thank you, Ms. Janowski, and I echo um, your sentiments. I had the opportunity to also attend the high school senior award ceremony this week. It was wonderful to see how talented and um, achievements that our students have earned this year, both academically and in athletics. So congratulations to all of our seniors for the awards that they worked very hard to earn. I also attended um, our ceremony, our celebration with our Alden Place students, the band and chorus students in fourth and fifth grade did an outstanding job. So proud of how much they've learned throughout the year with their, their new instruments. So congratulations to both Ms. Scoban and Ms. Donahue for all that they've done to support our students. 
I also wanted to give a big shout out to the PTO. Um, I had the opportunity to attend their monthly meeting and they are selling those discount benefit cards. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, they are on sale. Great deals on that. Um, so with that, now off to Mr. Garcia and business and personnel and happy Father's Day, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Watkins. Uh, just echoing everyone else's uh, comments, it's great to celebrate our children these, these weeks at the end of the year. I did want to highlight the fact that so many of these events have so many of our staff members involved in so many different ways. So uh, it's not uncommon for us to see our aides, monitors, custodial workers, support staff, teachers, all preparing during the day and then coming back that night. And some are in an official capacity and some are there as parents, community members, just cheering on our kids. It's just so wonderful to see our community come together. And I wanna say thank you to all of our staff members at every level and every department who have been putting in the extra time and energy to make these events come off without a hitch. And I'll tell you right now, they look like they're happening seamlessly and there's a whole lot of work and effort happening behind the scenes. So we wanna say thank you to all those folks that put an amazing amount of effort into making uh, these celebrations of our kids really something spectacular. Uh, and with that said, anybody that wants to join our team, you know that big, that big white button on the right side of our homepage, that apply box will take you right to our personnel page. Uh, if you or anybody you know, we're, we're actively recruiting for next year. We've got some summer positions open. Uh, please take a look at our website. Please share it out with your friends and family. We'd love to expand our Millbrook team uh, with those that are already embedded in our community, especially. So with that, I wish everybody a very happy Father's Day, a very enjoyable weekend. We'll go back to Ms. Hernandez to close us out. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. As Dr. Watkins mentioned, we celebrated our seniors and all of their achievements. I'd like to acknowledge the community partners who donated over $80,000 in scholarships and awards. Um, it is so amazing that we have a community that supports and rallies around our students and supports them as they journey on into the future. So thank you sincerely to all of the organizations and individuals who donated for our students to thrive even beyond their experience here in the Millbrook schools. Um, on Tuesday, the high school held their annual Big Blue Day recognizing sports teams. They held their first powder puff game and also enjoyed an afternoon of some lawn games. So it's an annual tradition that students and staff enjoy um, all together just before we head off into summer. Just a reminder that we have no school on June 19th in recognition of the Juneteenth holiday. And June 18th, this coming Tuesday, we will be adding our senior graduation photos on the Village Green. So make sure you stop by and check that out. They will also be uh, transplanted up the hill for graduation, um, which comes up this coming Friday, the 21st. Unbelievable. Happy Father's Day to all the dads in our community, and we will see you next week.